Well then, allow me to show you my full splendor. the truth of your minuscule existences. This battle would determine our future. A god? <laughs> Bring it on! You cannot defeat me with strength alone. Soon, you will understand. Look out! We've never seen anything like her! Well, here we go. Yep, she got a lot meaner, a lot nastier looking, and as we went over last time, a lot more difficult in this particular phase. Now to start off with, we're going to go with Satan and basically throw out what little SP I have left, because why not? Persona. It may or may not have been because I'd never used Black Viper ever before, you be the judge. Cue me having to get up and answer the door. Now, from this point on, I'm for the first phase of the fight, it's basically use whatever SP you have left to do as much damage before she starts the shitstorm. And that's what it is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry if I offended your delicate sensibilities. It's a shitstorm coming up. So, hopefully you have a Soma or two. If you don't, I hope you have a lot of other SP restoratives because you're gonna need them because this is an extraordinarily very long fight. Yes, the AI will not intentionally screw you by mind charging and casting something on the same term, but they'll do the next worst thing, which is basically playing mind games with you. Do you get rid of the... Do you get rid of the Rakunda? Do you guard? Do you... What do you do here? Well, the safest thing is if you don't have Yosuke in your party, I think Yosuke is the one who gets it. If you don't have a character, a party member with Raku uh, Dekunda in your party, the safest thing is just eat the damage. It's going to take a lot more damage off of you, or increase your defense using Kanji's Rakukaja. Either way, you got to live through this. Oh, by the way, lightning does not work against her. Do not waste your time on it. I learned the hard way. I'm guessing it's because of... Yeah, never mind. It's a lore thing anyway. Once you found out a way to deal with her Rakunda nonsense, it's... I took a big risk here for the record using Scott Hawk, but it works. <laughs> Why is it a risk, you ask? Well, she could very easily next turn cast Ogidine on me, and then I would be in some crap and give her three turns. Take this. Another important thing in this fight is do not let yourself be caught up in the tide of battle. <laughs> so what I mean by that is, don't go, oh god, I have to start healing and never get any damage in. That's how you start losing. Persona! Trust me, this fight goes a lot easier if you are the one controlling the pace of the fight. You don't want to be caught surpri by surprise, you don't want to be trying to scramble, trying to play triage, you want to control the terms of the engagement. And an easier way of going about doing that is not getting hit in the face. Simple, but effective. and try and keep the pressure up whenever you can. <laughs> and buffing is never yeah, a bad guys, thing. You're really low on health. Persona! There! 
You notice how much easier that was when we dodged. But I'm not sure if that lightning attack is actually lightning elemental or not. It might be. I never really looked it up or had Teddy in my party at this point. Now, at some point in this fight, she is going to start using Call to Yomi, or Yumi, Yomi, I don't remember, in an attack before that, that just deals every status effect seemingly in the game at you at once. That's why Book of Ruin is a godsend in this fight. And I know somebody's thinking, how did Yukiko get that much health? I think I found another Amatarasu fob while grinding. Yes, Yukiko is OP when she has a lot of health, I know. The stage is already set for your demise. I'll end your lives here. Now with this, you can deal with any number of ways, either again, Dakunda, or you can go about the other way, the brute force way of just going, no, I'm gonna up it again. But do not just let her keep that, that uh, debuff on you. You need to evade, or at least not miss. Fairly basic tactics, really. Holy crap, it's already half done. I didn't even realize. Well, I suppose that's misleading, because as the fight goes on, it gets more and more difficult to actually get damage in on her because you're trying to not play triage but at the same time trying not to die really it's de it's a delicate balancing act you go a little too gung-ho you die and go to a game over screen you go a little too cautious you run out of everything and then you go to a game over screen so it's yeah it's like i said it's a balancing act but the most important thing strategy wise in this fight keep yourselves at full health whatever you do and try and plan out your things before you start taking turns. While I realize I may be going a little slow right now in game, this was actually crucial planning time. Because if you just go all hickledy pickledy without a plan, you're gonna find yourself in a situation where you just go, oh god, what do I do now? Well, now's a little too late unless you got a Soma stuffed in your backpack somewhere. Which you may well if you have one in your backpack, by all means, just try not to get yourself killed by instantly dying to something she does. That always leads to sadness. Persona. All right, this is when I said take take all my SP because I knew I had two somas in the bank. Right, and I figured, what the hell? She dies faster. It's a win-win, right? I mean, you don't want to just throw away your SP, but if you got two somas, go balls to the wall, man. This is why I saved them. I wanted leeway on this fight, and for good reason. <laughs> Come on down. Guys, Chia Senpai's really hurt. Of course, you do have to occasionally ignore your better judgment and just say screw it, but now's not one of those times.
What I was going to say before was Izanami, I thought, was a god of electricity. I, or not, maybe not a god of electricity, but that was like her element or something. That was just, I don't know, baseless conjecture. I might very well be off. I suppose I should get back to the actual fight, though, but I wanted to clarify that thought I had earlier. Might have been last video. I don't really remember at this point in time. But yes, anyway, DPS, because we have our pattern down. Just follow the pattern now. Persona. Try and keep your buffs up and hit when you can. <laughs> Come on down. You okay there, oh, and that whole not don't dying thing, yourself. that's pretty important. You know, healing. But yes, what kept killing me before was that Wrath of Izanami, that big slashing attack. I just didn't have enough HP to survive it, flat out. And it was frustrating, too. It just felt like one of those, well, what was I actually supposed to do there? I think that's what they call a level check. Bar uh, not, uh, it's not a skill check, that was just a level check and I failed horrifically. Or maybe I did something horrifically wrong and I don't remember what because I was so mad at the time. <laughs> well, mad's not the right word, more so frustrated, but... Eh. Oh right, I forgot that debuff thing was like 25% health, I forgot all about that, but I just remembered it out of nowhere. Anyway, I mean, I got nothing else to say Once you get, until you get to that point, it's the same thing. So I guess I'll just start going off on tangents. Now, just think of a tangent I gotta talk about. Well, actually at the time, did I know that... Oh, this is when I figured out how to judge whether we need buffs. Right, good. Persona. Because that's something you really need to make sure of. Well, maybe not really, but it makes it a lot easier, like I said before. Persona. Mainly just didn't want to look like a moron again and buff everybody that was already buffed. <laughs> Persona. Well, your guess is as good as mine right now what Galgalum Eyes does. Is that the... Is that... Like, no, that's not debilitate. She has debilitate. What the hell does Galgalum Eyes do? Is that, like, put you into Berserk? I don't remember. Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna have to look that up or wait for somebody to tell me one of the two. Either way, I can't tell you what to do about it because I don't know what it is. Barak, you should research it. Y yes, but I'm on a timetable right now. I can't exactly do that. I would love to, and normally I would, but work calls in about an hour. Come on down. And I kind of have to go to work. So, yeah. Anyway. Ah, yes. Debilitate. Now, debilitate is a nasty condition. I told you what it did before, but the way you want to counter it is, first off, you want to judge just how bad it is. And the way you do that is either by using an item or pretending to use an item like I showed earlier, or try and buff her with a single buff attack, either way. Now, you want to make sure of all, beyond all else, her... You want to make sure her defense is up. So, Kanji's really the one you want to have. Check. 
because she's proven if she gets hit with both attacks, she can still live through it, so Tsukukaji is not the big priority here. Come on down. Never thought I'd actually say that about Tsukukaji and then prioritize Rakukaja, but I did, for once. Like we just, like I just said, as long as you make sure she's not going to die in one turn, which with Rakunda or debilitate, you know that effect, she might well have died there in one hit. But if it happens on your main character, you just got to buff him, man. You got to make sure you don't die. Look out for number ones, Masukaja and Rokukaja. Anything to get your stats out of the toilet. Oh, I hate misses, especially on the final boss. Now, I know what you're thinking, Barak, you play this pretty... pretty fast and loose. Yes, I am, compared to what I normally do, but... It's the most most efficient way I could think of at the time. And I had a plan so that I was never any in any real danger. Alright. Well, when she mind charges in her second phase, I sh again, I should never have to tell you why you should guard. If you don't guard, uh, you're in some big trouble. Because I, she's either going to use Megadolion, which I think she still has in her second form, or that big lightning attack. Either way, actually, I guess there's an easy way to check. I just have not been paying attention Is if anybody's immune to lightning, if, she, if that still hurts or not. Just thought of that. Alright that. That world's end is I think the big AoE or not AoE, but the big status effect in Summon Ziomi, I believe, kills you if you are afflicted by a status effect. We got very lucky there. Considering I didn't have Sukukaja up, we got very lucky. But that's one of the reasons you want to have it up. Because I think that actually helps avoid status effects. I'm not sure though. I think it does. <laughs> Come on down. Because technically you're dodging an attack, not the status ailment itself. The hardest part of this fight, basically world's end and summons the Yomi, man. If you can survive that, you got it, you got it made. That's it. And with the Book of Ruin, I basically got it made as long as I don't do something stupid here. Not to say the fight is over, but it's not by a long shot yet. I can still die very easily. I mean, I don't want to try and play catch up. It's a tasty condiment, but not a game. Come on down. Because if everybody died with me, I'd have to try and revive everybody, and that's valuable time wasted. Theoretically, I could survive it if I was at full health when everybody was dead, which, in likelihood, you won't be. Basically, just don't count your chickens before they hatch, that's what I'm saying here. Actually, come to think of it, how much health does she have left? I haven't been paying attention. 
all that much. Oh, hell. If you say so. Goodbye. Accept the reality of your death. Not you! <laughs> Well, you can tell who loved me the most. It was Yukiko and Chie. Kanji did not even try and save my butt there. To be fair, he will, but I just always found it interesting which character saved you first. I don't know if there's a, like, a order to it or not. But at this point, it's all or nothing, folks. It doesn't matter what you do at this point. May as well nuke her for revenge. So that's what I did. <laughs> Hacks. Look out! <laughs> Kanji! No! It's unfortunate that our battle must end this way.